Okay, discussion settings. Uh, discussion settings is actually all of your comment moderation and your commenting settings. We're not going to go over, over every single one of these here because a lot of them are actually very self-explanatory. But then we're going to go over a couple things in here. First of all, um, the one thing I do want to touch on is the one thing that they actually, it's one of the very few things that they actually do not leave checked when you first uh, install a blog, and that is an administrator must always approve a comment. Many instances you actually do want to approve your comments in the beginning or maybe even later, but they don't check that. So sometimes if you're not careful, some things will slide through that you don't want on there, such as derogatory or negative comments. After a while, after comment moderation becomes a full-time job because you get a lot of comments on there, you maybe want to leave that unchecked. <clears throat> your comment moderation lines, uh, these are all the words and phrases that you want if you see them in comments that you want them held in moderation. Sometimes derogatory comments or uh, obscenity of some sort and something like that that you may want to put in here to say, well, you know, before I really let that go to the general public of my, my blog readers, I want to go ahead and make sure that that's okay. And another one would be your comment blacklist. These are the things that you know would be spam, uh, adult content or maybe spam. You know, scam content or something like that that you know does not pertain to your blog. Uh, you can put those here. Um, you can also, don't forget, put email addresses and IPs that you see in the comment section. So if you find that one person keeps spamming your blog over and over again, they'll automatically be marked as spam if you put their IP address, which is available in the comment section. And down here is just your avatar section, the little pictures that show up next to each commenter if the theme has it en enabled. Um, basically, you can show them which one that they want to generate, uh, some that if you have maybe a little bit more adult oriented blog, you maybe have something PGR or, you know, you know, given if it's your thing, you can have something that's even an X rated or higher. Um, I would advise against that unless you have a warning in the beginning of your site because it will get you in trouble otherwise. So, and you can also show not to show avatars at all. So that pretty much does it for the comments section. If you have any other things that you uh, had questions on, you can just look at them there. They're pretty self-explanatory.